My name's Amy Koo, and I've been working at Providence for the past 10 years. And this is my good friend and colleague, Laura Rodriguez. Laura Ramirez. Ramirez. Sí. That's right. You recently got married. I've been here for six years. It's been a wonderful journey working alongside with you. I think really early on, Laura and I realized we share a lot of similar values and care about the same things in life, which made working together a real honor and privilege. Sometimes I think about you, Laura, like a, well, I'll say a delicious onion. <laughs> <laughs> My new husband calls me Cebollita. No way! <laughs> I think the layers of you are beautiful. I know that God brought us together for a great reason. Today is really getting to know Laura. I am constantly in awe of your commitment to community. There's a fire for justice in you. I would love for you to share a bit about what has driven you. My passion for justice started at a very young age. It started with me watching my mom. I grew up in a neighborhood in, in Los Angeles, California, that was not a very easy neighborhood. And my mom had this deep love for the people that lived in our community. And she was just a fighter, a fighter for everyone. It didn't matter who you were, what walk of life you had. She loved on people always. And at the time, we were in a community where we had quite a bit of gang violence. And my mom loved on all these boys. Whenever they would get in some fights or arguments, my mom would be the first one to run out side and pull them apart or get in the way of a crossfire. She would take me with her. Wow. So I would stand there and I would watch her and I would be in awe of what she did. And many times I saw her drag in boys who had been hurt and she'd say, go get me the first aid kit. And I'd run inside, bring out the kit and help her. I think that many times I was in shock, maybe even scared. But I think that as time went on, watching my mom care for people, fight for them and never give up. I think that's really the beginning of my work, my life work. I've been walking along with her really my whole life. Wow. I mean, I just want to celebrate moms for a minute and recognize so often moms are doing that work that is never compensated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's never noticed and what a tremendous impact that's had on you. We were not a family that was well off. My family immigrated from Mexico back in the 70s and so they had to work really hard for everything that they had. My mom, even though we didn't have very much, she would give it all away. And my mom has early stages of dementia. Five years ago, we took away her debit card because she would go to the grocery store and see someone on the street pull out all of her money and hand it to them. When we found out that she was doing this because she wasn't paying her bills, we had to take it away from her. And even though she has these stages of dementia, she did not forget that we took her card away mm -hmm. and that she could not pull out her money to help people anymore. What a legacy she leaves. Yes. I hope that when you see your mom next, uh -huh. you give her a big hug. She certainly has inspired me today as we think about, you know, what's really important in life. Thank you so much. And this is going to be a great honor for her to be able to know that we did this and we spoke of her. Mm -hmm.